Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how the person that is on your mind when it comes to love truly feels about you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for this person's true feelings for you currently, we have depression, strategy, we also have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Lover's card here. All right, so when it comes to this person's true feelings for you, they're depressed. Okay, they're going through it right now. They're stressed out. This person, they're in a very pessimistic mindset. They feel hopeless because they feel as though you're not making any moves toward them. For some of you, they feel like things aren't really going anywhere between the two of you. Okay, for some, they feel like you've lost interest in them. I feel like for some of you, this person may have come up with some type of strategy in order to get your attention. They did something trying to be clever, but I feel like it blew up in their face. For some of you, it could have involved another lover or them making it seem as though they were interested in someone else. I feel like this person is also in their feelings because they feel as though you're not coming toward them because you're attracted to another person. So take it however it fits. But I feel like there are a lot of things affecting this person right now they're in this depressive energy because their life seems to be at a standstill i feel like money isn't coming in or it's coming in very slowly for this person it just seems as though their life is being turned upside down but i feel like it's karma because some of you were minding your own business. I feel like you were more focused on yourself, focused on your own happiness. And I feel like this person may have been doing things to try and spite you. And so it ended up blowing up in their face. And now they're sitting up here grieving. Okay. So um, for some of you, this could be future energy where this person comes in and they try to be clever and use other people to try and make you jealous or to try and get a reaction out of you so keep that in mind for some of you you've definitely been separated from this person there may have been a divorce if the two of you were married um if it wasn't a marriage for some of you there's just been a breakup or a disconnect things are just very complicated between the two of you so if you are currently dealing with this person it's just a very complicated relationship they definitely feel left out in the cold by you for some of you they feel rejected or they feel like you will reject them hmm. they feel lonely without you so yeah something definitely blew up in this person's face something that they thought would work something that they thought would make you more attracted to them but i feel like it was actually a turn off Hmm. So, yeah, when it comes to how this person truly feels about you, they're wanting to heal things. All right. But they also feel like you're doing very well. They feel like you're a lot more balanced now. They feel like you're using moderation when it comes to them. So a lot, a lot of you are no longer overextending yourself. They miss the bond between the two of you and they're still very much attracted to you, even though for some of you, they may be silent or they may not be saying much they may not be letting you know how they feel they feel like you're a lot more calm now like you're coming off as mysterious they also view you as someone that's very intuitive as well hmm. with the queen of pentacles being in reverse this person wants your attention badly and i feel like there's a little bit of blame or energy because for some of you it's like they're accusing you of only caring about yourself but I feel like that's not the case. I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you always put others before yourself, whether it was the person that you were involved with romantically or um, your family, your children, um, your home, work. There's just something where you were putting others or other things before yourself. OK, and I feel like a lot of you are more focused on you now. You're making sure that you're good and there's nothing wrong with that. With the King of Pentacles being here, I feel like this person's very stubborn. So you, as you can see, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So 
I feel like this person may be feeling some type of way because they see you evolving. They see you changing. They see you glowing up. You're getting better. Some of you are becoming a lot more financially stable. Okay. Um, but this King of Pentacles energy also lets me know that this person is very stubborn because they see your energy as very healing or very angelic. So that's that may be why they're drawn to you because there's something about your energy that heals this person or it just makes them feel better. Whenever they're dealing with you, they feel like everything's okay, possibly because you were always there for them. But this is also someone that can be very greedy. They definitely want to talk to you to make you understand or to convince you that they've gained some type of insight in regards to the things that they did wrong in the past. Yeah, they're wanting a new opportunity with you, but some of you are just not interested. Others of you, even if you are interested in re rekindling things with this person, I feel like whenever you get involved with them, you end up getting distracted or imbalanced in some type of way. There's something where this person causes an imbalance within you. Whenever you're dealing with them, it's like you can't focus as much or your mind isn't as focused as it needs to be. Hmm. So, yeah, this is someone that definitely wants your attention, mainly because they see you as wish fulfillment. A lot of you have a lot of good things coming in for you. All of the good energy that you put out, you're getting that in return. All while this person is over here in this Ten of Pentacles in reverse energy, meaning for some of you, they could be going through unexpected financial changes or changes within their health or their fam family dynamic. I feel like they're falling out with their family members. Their money is definitely unstable. They want to reconcile with you, but at the same time, they don't want you to bring up the past. So it's almost like they want to sweep things under the rug, but they also feel as though you view them in a negative light or you only pay attention to the negative things that happen between the two of you. But see, for some of you, if you do focus on the negative things, it's because they put you through those negative things repetitively. This person was very sloppy with your heart. Okay. Now that you gain this confidence in yourself and not saying that you weren't confident before but i feel like a lot of you are standing in your power now that you're standing in your power this person's feeling some type of way okay hmm. they want you to give in but a lot of you are just ready for change others of you if you do give in to this person if you want things to work between the two of you i feel like it's going to take a lot of time and this person needs to go through a transformation. But yeah, for some of you, and this isn't for everyone, but for some of you, this person, they're in the energy of, well, Mystic Goddess's view where they think they're perfect. They act like they don't do anything wrong. When that's not the case, you know, I feel like this person is just in their feelings because some of you are not actively pursuing them the way that you used to. I feel like you were always the one trying to make things work. And a lot of you are no longer doing that. You're just trusting in divine timing. And others of you aren't even interested in, in this person at all. Wow. So let's see what else comes out. Give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit, when it comes to the person that is on my viewer's mind, when it comes to love. What is that person's true feelings toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. All right, so let's see what else comes out. And for some of you, and this is specific, take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. For some of you, if they did choose someone else over you, or if they used another person to try and make you jealous, now they're depressed or they're pessimistic because they feel stuck with that other person okay and they don't even want to be with the other person but that's not for all of you take that if it fits but don't force it to fit all right so let's see what else comes out 
All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have unrequited. So they feel like you don't have attraction for them anymore or you're not as attracted to them as you used to be. They feel as though the feelings between the two of you are no longer mutual. They may feel like you're no longer interested. They feel like you're not putting in the same effort that you used to put in, okay? And I'm not surprised with this Knight of Pentacles being in reverse, but see, that was the problem before. You were overextending yourself while this person was doing very little. Give me more. What are this person's true feelings toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? It's almost like when you really wanted to be with this person, they weren't putting in the effort. And for some of you, now you no longer want to be with them and they want to come back and make things work. Now they're really wanting to be with you. We have wish come true. That card came out crossing. So they see you as wish fulfillment. This card reads all that you ever wanted, dream boy or dream girl. So this person, they feel like you're the person of their dreams. But that card came out crossing. So they feel like they messed up with you. They feel like they've lost the love of their life or they're losing the love of their life. And they feel very foolish about it. Some of you just don't take this person seriously anymore. And it's mainly because they played a lot of games. They made a lot of foolish choices. They were very reckless with your heart. Give me more. What are this person's true feelings for my viewers currently? Thank you. Spell work. So for some of you, and I'm not saying that this is true, okay? But for some of you, this person thinks that you work the spell on them, a love spell. And it's mainly because they can't figure out why they're unable to let you go. But what they don't understand is they're just in love. They're in love with you. Okay, a lot of you aren't working spells. Now, some of you may have, but others of you, you know, you haven't done anything. This person's just in love. So they think because... They can't let you go or they're unable to let you go that you are casting love spells on them. <laughs> now, for some of you, take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. If, if you feel as though this person has worked a love spell on you, they feel like it's not working because freedom is at the bottom of the deck. Give me more. What are this person's true feelings toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? For some of you, they've thought about casting a love spell on you. So we have single. So they feel like you're single and ready to mingle. Okay. They feel like you're open to dating others. But they don't want you to do that because boundaries is at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, they feel like you're open to dating other people because you've set up strong boundaries. But yeah, they feel like you're just single and enjoying your life. For some of you, they're hoping that you're single. With this lover's card, some of you have moved on to a new connection. Or you're open to another connection. But for some of you, I feel like you're more focused on yourself. Like you may not even be interested in dating. Give me more. What are this person's true feelings toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? So we have out in the cold. Again, they feel rejected. They feel like you're isolating yourself from them. <laughs> wow. So they feel lonely without you. And if you notice, that card came out right on top of spell work. And as I was saying before, for some of you, they have researched spell work. But for others of you, they may have at least um, thought about casting a spell to try and manipulate the outcome between the two of you. All right. <laughs> so this is this is a lot. This is a lot. Give me one more card to end the reading. What are this person's true feelings toward my viewers currently? Thank you. So we have karmic connection. So they feel as though um, issues are still unresolved between the two of you. But they're hoping that everything will work out in the end. My rock is here. So this person feels as though you were very loving, very supportive when it comes to them. Or when it came to them. You provided a lot of security, a lot of stability, but I feel like they put you through a lot of turmoil. There was a lot of turbulence 
in regards to this connection. They, for some of you, they feel like soul tie type of energy, especially with that karmic connection. Because for some of you, the two of you had a past life together. Huh. Give me one more card to end the reading. What are this person's true feelings toward my viewers currently? And two came out. All right. So let's see. We have cut through. And we also have angry. So for some of you, they may be angry with you. Um, especially if you expose some secrets about this person or you found out about some things that they were hiding. They're pissed off about that. Also, for some of you, they feel like you've gone through a breakthrough, like a mental or an emotional breakthrough. You have a lot more clarity now and they resent you for that. I feel like someone wanted you to be in La La Land. Hmm. So, yeah, this person, they're definitely feeling some type of way. OK, um, they want you back or they want to make things work with you. Because mainly, they feel like they've lost the love of their life. They feel like they lost their dream woman or their dream man. You were all that they ever wanted. And then, eventually, this person ended up fumbling the ball. Okay, so they messed up. All right, so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.